education in this session you are going to learn chapter 7 working with open office calc content of this video is working with functions and charts so you are going to learn about the function wizard and chart wizard so in our book working with functions and chart so open office calc has more than 350 functions and 11 categories functions are predefined formula already available with calc they are used to perform several frequently done calculations every function has a unique name and a prototype so a function has a name and a prototype functions are categorized according to their functionality for example functions such as sum average sin sin cos theta like that are categorized as mathematical functions so the two point is one function uh, open office calc is having more than 350 functions and 11 categories so first one is inserting functions into worksheet there are two methods one is direct insert method next one is using function wizard direct insert method we have learned already in the previous video if you know the function name and its syntax it can be directly typed in the cell of the worksheet so we have already done the sum and many functions so here they have given an example for sum so if you want to know or if you want to use sum means start with equal sum and we have to say the range we are directly typing the formula and the syntax okay then how to use the wizard use wizard means insert uh, we have to take the wizard through insert function or uh, the shortcut key control plus f2 just f2 is to edit the content in the data control plus f2 to insert the function wizard i'll show you so this is our worksheet open office calc for example if we are having a value like that so 34 is in the value that means is in the cell of b3 this is the cell name okay so if we want the total of the cell means i can keep the cursor anywhere so if we want means i can keep here directly i am typing the formula equal followed by the word sum open bracket then the starting range whether we can type or select so selecting i am selecting this cell press the left button and drag so it will form the range b3 colon d3 so close bracket enter this is direct inserting of formula because we have typed it okay so now we are going to see a example for using of function wizard so for that in the book so function categories drop down list so there are given 11 categories what are the categories of the function wizards so we'll see one example what is given in your book so to see the example of a function power which is under the category of mathematical so here power means exponent base and the exponent 2 to the power 10 so here we are going to this we are going to see the example of 25 to the power of 2 inserting power function in worksheet so first step type in the cell a2 25 and b2 2 okay so this is a2 25 b2 2 i'm keeping the cursor in c2 okay then click fx icon from formula bar three things fx icon from formula bar or uh, choose insert function or uh, press control plus f2 so where it is this is the fx bar so if i click i am getting the function wizard or else i have to go to insert menu 
and function the shortcut is control plus f2 okay so the cursor is present in c2 i'm opening the function wizard here are the categories i'm selecting mathematical so here i here i have to found the power function i'm keeping the cursor and pressing p in the keyboard so power double click you will get this base and the exponent so where is the base our base is present in a2 so power open bracket a2 okay then exponent exponent means the second cell b2 so this means 25 to the power 2 if you select in opposite or vice versa it will be 2 to the power 25 here it is 25 to the power 2 2 the result is 625 it is given here so the cursor is present in the c2 if i press okay so the answer 625 is present in the cell c2 that's what given here pull the category select the function list uh, select power okay so what are the things present in the wizard then in the base i have to select the cell a2 in the exponent i have to select the cell b2 so a2 comma b2 okay so the result is given here if i press okay it will be displayed in the c2 cell is it clear then inserting a function using function wizard with direct values what is the meaning of this means instead of selecting the cell name we can even give the direct values keep the cursor here function wizard category selecting the function double click then you will get this base and exponent in the base i am giving the value directly 25 and the exponent i am giving the value 2 then press okay so we have learned three things direct formula inserting the wizard uh, with the cell value and inserting the wizard with direct value that's all it's very easy but it's a five mark question self practice in a1 type value a2 type as square 2 and in b1 type any value in b2 insert the function to find square root of value b1 after getting square root change the value in b1 observe changes in the result use the same function another worksheet directly without using function wizard shall we do this so a1 is value b1 is square root here i have to give the value i am giving as 64 keeping the cell here take the formula square root again mathema um, mathematical function square root this is a square root function double click so i have to say the number here i am selecting this cell uh, cell value click okay fine got the value right if we change here the value will change in the square root because it's a formula Okay. The next step is working with chart. One of the important features of worksheet is ability to create charts. Yes, charts are used to present data as an easy manner. Creating charts is the key factor for the success of spreadsheet. That means if you if you are able to represent your content in chart format in a pictorial representation, then it is. very useful to give the data in a visible manner here the chart wizard has uh, how to insert a chart first step insert chart from the insert menu you, you can select the chart or chart icon 
from standard toolbar. So we can insert a chart in two methods. Then in the chart, there are four steps. Chart type, data range, data series, and chart elements. So which are given in the left side. So what is chart type? Chart type means all available chart types listed. Here are the chart types, column, bar, pie chart, area, lines. Likewise, there will be a list. Here we have to select one of the chart. And there is another thing is 3D look and realistic shape. So what is that? If we select 3D look, then we can have the shapes, how it should look. We'll see with an example, which is given in your book. Then we can say the range selected data range. Probably we will select a range, then the range will be displayed here. Then among that we can remove particular content if we don't want. Then we can give titles. Shall we see with the example? Here is the demo for creating a chart. So they have given a, a rainfall report. I have typed this content. So first step, select the data. Okay, the first step is select the data. Select the data. So that is uh, B A1 to F11. Okay the selected area that's what he given here a1 to f11 okay then to open the chart wizard click chart icon or insert chart we can use any one of the method so where is the chart icon here is the chart icon okay oh no it's directly oh, yes it's the chart icon other one is insert chart okay here can you see the four types chart type here a column i'm selecting the 3d look cylinder and it is realistic so 3d cylinder i selected what is given in the um, book then data range data range data range it will show what we have selected series in column it's series in column then we can include click on total data series click remove button so in the series data series the total is removed of to remove we can select the total that means the rainfall for september month october november december month is here total we are going to remove okay adding title subtitle name of x and y how to do this chart elements title is x what is y what is z we can give as it is a 3d look x-axis city names y-axis centimeter z 
so this is in centimeter this is the uh, city names so well, we have given all the four types of uh, data finish so this is the weather report of the data what we have typed so if we want to make any change we can double click on the element right click on the selected element select format from pop-up menu double click the line style so it is giving the list as per the requirement where we are clicking there it is giving the relevant thing to change right click form a chart area so we can change whatever we like access option so they have given the values already we have given the values so in the x axis means the name they are going to change click on this axis right click format axis format axis go to label here is that direction I am keeping the direction the vertical position ok can you see the names that's what given in the book select label in the label we have given that you can create a chart with student report and the chart a 3d bone shape have a student report select the cell chart So we can select the 3D look and the cone shape and there are different types of view. So we can decide how, what is the shape we require. Then data range as we have selected, including all the fields. X axis name, Y axis marks. So this is our chart. So this is the cone shape. As the value is very small, the cone looks like a, a very small. So if you increase the size, it will look greater. So we, you have learned two things, how to insert a chart and how to insert a function using the wizard. Both are five more questions. Learn well. Thank you. That's all for this session. Have a good day.